Well, before the video message to Nigerians, President Muhammad Buhari was in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, to garner support for his second term bid. Buhari, accompanied by his vice, Ayemi Oshibajo, and other cabinet members, pledged to intensify the war against corruption and improve infrastructural development at the next level. This is arguably the biggest gathering of political players in Lagos since the start of 2019. President Muhammad Buhari is in the southwestern states to garner support for his re-election bid. The president, accompanied by his vice, Yemio Shibaja, and other APC stalwarts, are received by this massive crowd of people filling up the 24,000 capacity Tesla in Balogun Stadium. They are eager to hear the next level agenda of the Buhari or Shibajo team. Lagos State Governor Akeo Miambode and his predecessor, Babatunde Fashola, individually welcomed the president, assuring him of massive support from Lagos residents at the elections. The message is very clear. We appreciate Mr. President for the last three and a half years, all the achievements we have made has been done through his own contribution and his support. Your Excellency, I need only to welcome you specially because this is my own village. This is my own Daura in Lagos. This is Zulu Lere. This is Sports City. And this is where most historically the dollar was devalued four years ago here. I have gave your message of the road intervention on Third Mainland Bridge, on Muntala Mohammed Road, on Power in Odogunyo, in Ilashe, in Ijigo, in Aja, in Ijora, to our people, that certainly life will be better at the next level when we win. With the accreditation of 28 foreign observers to monitor the forthcoming elections by INEC, International interference in Nigeria's politics has taken center stage and stirred reactions from political stakeholders across the country. At the rally, APC national leader Ahmed Tinubu words into the issue. He also shares with the gathering useful tips for effective voting. To all you, the governors across the country, here today, thank you for celebrating democracy in Lagos. This is a celebration of democracy. It's not about the campaign of Muhammadu Buhari and APC. Lagos is sure, sure, very sure, sure, sure. On his part, the national chairman of the party, Adam Zoshumole, takes a swipe at the opposition PDP, insisting that the Buhari Oshibajo team is the best deal for Nigerians. Why we let him out? It is now time for the president to address the audience. Amid cheers, he presents his next level agenda to Lagos State. I thank you very much and I assure you that the promise we have made 2015, based on which we elected us, we made tremendous progress, as I mentioned, by those who told you what this administration is doing on security, economy, and fighting corruption. I assure you, we will maintain focus. I assure you, whoever is trusted with public responsibility must account for it. In the 2015 presidential election, the All Progressives Congress received a massive 792,460 votes from Lagos State, dislodging 13 other political parties, including the PDP. Key political gladiators in the state are promising 
to double the figure come February 16th.